the end of the day. I'm really tired. I don't know why I woke up at 7.30 this morning when I went to bed at 1. I don't even know why I went to bed at 1 when I was tired. But, I, and I have some makeup that I have to remove. I didn't go crazy. Just like tinted moisturizer, some brow stuff, and some bronzer because ain't nobody gonna put a full face on while quarantined with nobody. So, I will show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I have a fair share of products that I use. However, I alternate and I rotate between which ones um, I wanna use throughout the week, depending on what my skin needs. So, um, I will show you guys most of the products anyway, and what I use in the morning versus what I use at night. So, without further ado, let's get this makeup off. So these are these amazing eco-friendly reusable makeup pads that I purchased on Amazon. They do a really good job at getting rid of excess oil from oil cleansing and all of the makeup residue that's on your face. So next I'm going in with this Japanese deep oil cleanser that I purchased on Amazon and I really like it. It does leave a little bit of a film but that's why I purchased the reusable pads so I can help wipe away that oil and leftover makeup so i'm just going in with this and i am oil cleansing really trying to make small circles and get off as much of the makeup as i can so now i'm just taking that makeup pad from amazon and just really trying to get off all of the oil and makeup residue that was on my skin. So next I'm going in with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. It's nice and gentle. And now I'm just working that into my skin. And again, I like to make small circular motions because I feel like that helps penetrate the product more into the skin. I don't know if I'm right on that, but I like it. Also that frowning face that I make, it's definitely gonna give me wrinkles, so I should cut that out. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just pat drying with the towel. Do not rub your skin, people. I'm telling you, it's not good. So I've also been reading some new articles about skincare where they talk about hyaluronic acid. And I've actually read a couple articles that say that it's such a powerful humectant and it's so good for your skin, but it can also work against it if you do not have the proper base for applying your hyaluronic acid. Um, usually a lot of people like to apply it on dry skin or if they have a dry face, but you should actually apply it when it's damp because that um, water plus the hyaluronic acid will really deeply penetrate into the skin and give it the moisture that it needs. Pro tip, just keep your face nice and damp and still pretty wet when you apply your hyaluronic acid. Now I am a ordinary skincare fanatic. I love all of the ordinary products. I think they're amazing for the price point. Um, right now I'm unemployed use sad music and as a result I can't buy fancy skincare but even then I don't think I'd want to um, just because I know how well the ordinary works so I will be showing you guys the products that I use by them right now so these are the three products that I love from the ordinary the first is the niacinamide and zinc formula I know it's not gonna focus I have an iPhone who am I kidding um, I really, really, really love that product specifically for texture. Texture is one of my main focus areas that I try and work on in my skincare routine just because I sometimes tend to get a little bit of bumps around my face, but they aren't pimples, so I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm assuming it's texture. So the niacinamide and zinc does a really good job at evening out texture. It helps with dark spots and aging and um, blemishes. Doesn't help with acne, it helps with blemishes. They're two different things. So if you have little, little, little blemishes that you just have to clear up quickly, 
niacinamide and zinc will be great for that. The second product that I love from them is the hyaluronic acid. Now, I think their hyaluronic acid is one of the best on the market. Um, but again, like I mentioned before, be careful with hyaluronic acid. Make sure that your skin is damp when applying it because if not, it will actually draw out moisture rather than drawing in moisture to the skin. And my third product that I love is the salicylic acid solution from The Ordinary. I like this whenever I have larger breakouts that need a few days to kind of reduce and heal. So I will put the salicylic acid on in combination with the hyaluronic acid. And sometimes I'll alternate and I'll swap out the salicylic acid for the niacinamide and zinc. Usually I'll probably put this on, I want to say five nights a week and the salicylic acid only two days a week or whenever my skin has larger blemishes. So yeah, I just rotate between those three. So tonight I'm gonna do the niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid. So now I'm just taking the niacinamide and the zinc solution and rubbing it into my skin. I like rubbing instead of patting. Of course, you have to seal everything in. And yes, I only have the travel size. Don't come at me. Um, I didn't get the full size version because I wasn't sure if it was going to work well on my skin, but it's gentle enough where it does a really good job. So I think I am going to upgrade to the full size one, but anyway, you have to seal all of your products in with moisturizer at night. So I just take a fair sized amount, like, like so, it's about a quarter. And now you don't want to rub this into the skin. I actually like to pat my moisturizer in just because I feel like sometimes my pores can get kind of clogged when I rub in my moisturizers. So I just like to gently pat. Also, I'm really hoping that this gua sha comes in from Amazon soon. I ordered one so that way I can sculpt my face in the morning because starting to get a little bit of a double chin and I want that Bella Hadid jaw and her cheekbones and her whole face, I don't know. But I um, also lose a lot of serum in my fingertips, I feel. Um, bleh. So I'm hoping that the gua sha uh, helps me apply my serum smoothly as well and I don't have any product waste. So if I was to do this routine in the morning, I actually wouldn't wash my face with a cleanser in the morning just because I feel like washing your face with cleanser um, more than twice a day can sometimes just be a lot and you also still want the natural oils to stay on your face. So I just wash my face off with water in the morning and then um, take a washcloth, wipe it up. Then I will continue to use the hyaluronic acid serum. However, I pair it with the Tree of Life vitamin C serum. I purchased this on Amazon and it's fantastic. A vitamin C serum should only come in a dark bottle. So look out for that when you're buying them. And the vitamin C serum in combination with the hyaluronic acid just does wonders for your skin. If you have any sort of scarring, I have some scarring here and somewhere on my cheeks and my forehead. So the vitamin C serum with the hyaluronic acid does a really, really great job at minimizing the dark spots. So I will put this on, the hyaluronic acid, seal that in with the same moisturizer, the Cetaphil, and then I will add a mineral sunscreen with an SPF 60. I do not want to buy anything 30 and below. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't work on my skin. So I actually use uh, La Roche-Posay brand mineral sunscreen with SPF 60 and I love that. So I will put that on and then if I have like a tinted moisturizer, I'll put that on top or I'll just go out for the day with just the sunscreen on, my serums and no makeup. So, oh, 
how could I forget? We need eye cream, honey, even though it's basically just moisturizer in a little oversized bottle, but whatever. We need eye cream, so let me go get that. I will be right back. So like I said, I am one of the millions of suckers in America that buy into eye creams thinking that they're gonna, you know, make a difference and they don't. They're basically just moisturizers in a little tiny oversized package. So I got this from Sephora a while back. It's reaching its expiration date. Also, side note, um, really start looking into the shelf life of your products, especially ones that have um, a screw top where you open and close it because you're exposing bacteria and air in it every time you open it. Um, therefore, like decreasing the shelf life. You can tell on the side of the bottle, I know this is not gonna focus to save my life, but this little thing that looks like a jar, there should be a number on it with the letter M for months. And when you look on the bottle, it will say a number, and that is the amount of months of shelf life that the product is capable of withstanding. So anyway, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Eye Cream from Sephora. It's part of their clean collection. I'm very big into clean line skincares because I have sensitive ass skin along with my sensitive ass personality and I'm just a sensitive person. And I um, can't do fragrance. I can't do like really strong acids and chemicals. So I can only stick with clean, which is why I picked this up. And I like this, especially when I take it out of the fridge. I keep my eye creams in the fridge because it gives like a nice cooling effect. I don't think it makes a difference in the results of the product, but I just think it gives a nice cooling effect. And I just scoop it up with my ring finger and like so, cause that's my business. And then I just pat. These bags are serious, honey. I mean, they they really need some TLC. I am really hoping at some point that I save up enough money to get filler for my under eyes or something to eliminate the puffs and the dark circles because the two in combo with each other just make me look like a raggedy Ann. <laughs> so just put that on, let that dry for a little bit. And then I go in with a lip sleeping mask. This is the only sleeping mask that I recommend because most sleeping masks I feel are kind of unnecessary. And I feel like they definitely clog your pores more than you would think. But the lip sleeping mask is the only thing I use and it's from Laneige, I believe. They're Korean. Fantastic, one of the best products on the market, I think. And if you have a little bit of chap lips, just take like a scrub exfoliate first and then apply the lip scrub and honey those lips are going to be kissable so um i can't relate because i'm single but i will show you guys what the lip mask looks like and i'll put a little bit of that on and then that's it okay so again people who do uh, product marketing and packaging you guys are geniuses because I will always, always, always fall for a little kit that comes in a cute little tub like this and, wait for it, comes with the cutest little applicator. I mean, come on. You know we all love cute little things. So, also the scent is just incredible. Seriously, one of my favorite scents in the world. It smells so sweet, so yummy. So anyway, I take like just a little bit. I don't like to put on the whole spatula worth because I feel like that's kind of ridiculous. Okay. And once I feel like I have enough on. And this formula is really thick. Like, it's a sleeping mask for a reason. I think that's it. I think she's ready. I think she's ready to go to bed. So, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching my skincare routine. It was nothing fancy, nothing special, but that's really just like my skincare philosophy. I feel like the only fancy things that you would need to truly enhance your skincare are dermatologist procedures or any sort of like esthetician procedures that they may uh, provide, such as peels, facials, etc. 
But aside from that, I feel like the actual products themselves, you can go pretty simple with because your skin likes simple, to be honest. Um, the less you bombard your skin with harsh chemicals, the more it'll love you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.